My name is Tony Black. I'm a New York City based producer engineer here at uh, Quad Studios. I came up through the whole 90s hip hop era. I've worked with Jay Z, Wu Tang, Ghostface Killer, all those different kind of guys. Uh, Biggie, Little Kim, I did her first album. I got a Grammy for working on Alicia Keys' Diary of Alicia Keys. Now I do my own production and work with up and coming artists and various projects in and around New York City. As an engineer, your job is to make sure everything winds up recorded and in an in accessible fashion uh, that someone can find it later on, whether it's you finishing the project or someone else finishing the project, making sure nothing gets erased that shouldn't, getting quality sounds and being able to uh, dial up a tone quickly that, that the producer might ask you for, whether it's a brighter piano or a or a Rhodes that sounds a little more vintage than the electronic version that you might be using. The first thing you need to do is find out from the producer what the overall picture is for the session, how many musicians are gonna be there, how what his workflow is, is gonna be like, whether he wants to record individual instruments one at a time or all, a band all at once or vocals separately, all those different types of things to get a feel of what his goal is or her goal is to get the project rolling and, and get things recorded. There's one thing you have to learn as an engineer uh, is to be able to adapt to new people very quickly, whether it's the producer that you may have just met that morning or all the musicians who just walk in the door and you, uh, you, know, you have to kind of sort of remember their names or find a way to and get a feel real quickly for what type of personality that person has. There's a good part of it that's technical uh, you know, the expertise of knowing how to get something working and getting it working quickly, getting a good microphone, knowing what you want to do. But more than half of it is personality and how do, how do you deal with people and how you, you adjust to them. If they're a, a real quiet bunch, you stay quiet. It's their party. You are an accessory to their, to their thing. You need to be invited in to their conversations as opposed to just diving in and and uh, you know, taking over the room. You never know what you're gonna wind up being called for. And uh, as an engineer, one day I was, I was called into a session and asked to bring a drum machine um, by the studio owner, because he knew that I programmed drums. And I wound up programming drums for a songwriting session with Elton John and Billy Joel playing piano next to each other. My best advice that I could think of would be to never take for granted who you're working with in the beginning. Someone who comes in wearing some raggedy clothes and raggedy sneakers and you think might not really be all that can within a couple years or six months be a huge superstar and you'll be kicking yourself saying hey why did it, why wasn't I nicer to that person or why didn't I take that more seriously because you just never know what is going to click and you want to be there for when when it does <laughs>